So let's talk about women being independent and having their own. I am a total supporter of women having their own. I'm a total supporter of girls who pay their own rent, pay their own bills, don't need a nigga for shit. Yes, I am a total supporter of that. Every woman wants to say that, but not every woman is. It's real It's real cool for you to think, oh yeah, I'm, you know, I'm strong and independent woman, but you out here texting your baby daddy like, yeah, look, listen, I gotta pay rent. You know, um, the kids needs this. Um, I haven't done my hair, I haven't done my nose. Like, you know, are you really a strong, independent woman? I wanna say it's strictly a, uh, attracted to strong, independent women, because sometimes some strong, independent women are a bit too difficult to deal with because they're so strong and independent. That, that is attractive, like, you know what I mean? It is, it is attractive to have somebody who, who could just do their own and not have to need a man for anything. Once again, it's like, are you really a strong, independent woman? Because strong, independent women don't need you for anything. They can maintain themselves, they have their own goals, they have their own drive. Um, they support people who they want in their life. And yes, every woman could be a strong, independent woman. But it's, do you have the will? Do you have the drive? And and do you have that that fire that that drives people to be successful? Because I think that I think success is a lot of um, of the reason why women become strong and independent. Strong, independent women is more of a topic than strong, independent men. I know that. Like I you know what I mean? I don't think a strong, independent woman will allow a, a guy to leech off of her. Like it's just that doesn't happen. Like strong independent woman like motivates and drives Definitely. someone to like go with them. Like, are women more sensitive yeah, than us? They're a little bit more sensitive than we are. So they probably will le let people leech on like that. Uh, no, I then see that that's I I disagree in that. I don't, I don't think I don't think strong independent women, let me be very clear, strong independent women um would allow a man to leech off of her success or leech off of what she's doing or hold her back. I feel like a strong independent woman might struggle sometimes if she's emotionally attached to this man and doesn't see this man moving at the same pace that she's moving. But I feel like at the end of the day, she'll make the call as to like, listen, like this is not gonna work out because you aren't, um, I don't wanna say level because that just kinda just, uh, I, you don't have the same drive that I have. And the fact that you don't have the same drive that I have mean you can no longer be together. And I think it's a, it's, it's, it's a tough call for a woman to make. She's emotionally attached to that person, but I think a man too, like, you know what I mean? I feel like man, a lot of men who are, who are in the right path, you know, sometimes have this girl who they're totally in love with, but this girl is just not moving at the same direction that he is. So there's that point where you kind of just need to make that choice. You need to start moving at the pace that I'm moving, or this isn't going to work. You know what I mean? But then you people can say, like, oh, you're selfish. Like, you know what I mean? People can say, like, hey, listen, you, you were so selfish that because you were being very successful in life, you just dropped the love and, and decided to, you know, work for the rest of your life. You know, there's a, there's a lot of different views into strong, independent um, women and strong, independent men as to go, you know, how they make choices, especially with the love life. I feel like the love life is kind of the toughest part to deal with because I feel like um, successful people have very little time. Um, they don't really have as much time as a bum nigga would. The, the mission to success takes away from time and taking away from our time takes away from our relationship. And yeah, you can say there's a balance, but when you're working 130 hours every two weeks, you get home tired, like there's very little if time for a relationship. I think it's also uh, as a partner, you being understanding as the situation current point in which this person finds himself and yeah some you know some people are hard to lead you know it's it's very hard to lead someone at the same rate that you have because sometimes you find yourself in different points and we don't have the same drive and not having the same drive you know it's i think that's the number one problem of successful people when you don't meet somebody who has your same drive your same hunger and it's difficult to deal with it's um it's not the it's not the hey you know like yeah Yo, you need to come and eat what i eat to be as driven as i am you know it's not that happy jolly thing is really like, yo, you need to get on my level right now. Like, you know, like this is what I'm trying to do. This is what I'm trying to go in life. And if you're not, if you're not there, like this might not be able to work. And you know, I said the might because some people make it work and some people do get motivated after that. Some people do um, put the effort to make the change, but some people just kind of like, yo, listen, I'm not built like that. You know, I'm, I'm at my peak and some people are willing to accept and some people aren't. And shout out to those who accept it and deal with it. Shout out to those who motivate those to um keep on doing it i don't know i don't know where i would be i, I, I don't because i feel your love is love love is one of those crazy things where like you might say like one thing today and turn your ass around and fucking be something else tomorrow not even not even dri as driven as me but understanding of my drive i think that's the most important thing like understand why i'm so driven and why i want to accomplish the things that i want to accomplish that would determine like how far like the relationship would go and how far like we would move no te olvides suscribirte al canal aquí está boom me le das like Pum, me deja un comentario y a la campanita roja para que te lleguen todas las notificaciones cuando subimos los videos, que creo que lo vamos a hacer cada semana. Pero más importante, la línea de ropa que está aquí, Dark Kings Apparel. Recuérdate que en el website va a estar aquí abajo, me le das un likecito, pum, y vas al website y ahí tenemos todos los especiales, todo está en SEO, todo. Y si quieren el verdadero descuento, me lo piden, que te doy la clave. 
para que te dé un descuento al 20% off. So, asegúrate, suscribirte, dame comentarios, dame un like y la línea de ropa. Te dice el negro que te lo hace, lo juro.